you. We got it done. I'm gonna miss you like that. Even. Have fun and be safe. Bye. Wish you all luck. All right. Have it. Thank you. Be happy. Well, thank you. Nancy and Mary, welcome to Canada. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so glad to be here. I discovered Nelson through my partner of 24 years, Mary Balance Whitlock. You know how it is. Through the years, you share your history together. Hello, it's Mother's Day, 1989 in Santa Monica. And fortunately, we've had a great history, filled with travel, friends and family. However, the one thing that always fascinated me about Mary was that in the 70s she lived on a farm in a rural community of British Columbia called Blewett. Now the whole farm thing interested me for sure, but in the 70s lots of people were living on farms. But what they weren't doing, they weren't living in a two-story tree house, but Mary was. Oh my god, there it is. tree house where I used to live and it was built on a platform and it was supported by five trees. So the window that's framed over on the left there was the kitchen window. One of the things that I see right now is the tone and groove uh, that the floor of the tree house had. Porcelain sink. It was no cheapo fixture. There's the shitter. Where? Down there. Looks like somebody took the toilet seat. There's some bottles over there that look like the bottles that we would fill with goat's milk. I had no idea this trip through Mary's past would completely disrupt our present and rearrange our futures. You see, I fell in love with Nelson. I fell in love with the trees. The water. The way the clouds hang on the mountain. The wildlife and the people. The wondrous, eclectic, gracious community that make up Nelson. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? It's perfect timing. Yeah! Mary and I were so over living in the United States and living in Los Angeles. Over the traffic, over the 60-hour work weeks, over no sense of community and definitely over being bushwhacked. We thought Nelson might give us the opportunity to embrace community. Isn't that special? <laughs> yes! To live positively. Just a pure soya protein. 100% smelt. And to slow the beep down. So we decided to do the only thing two patriotic Americans could do, immigrate to Canada. We're coming up to Canada recordless. I'm so happy. The immigration process included taking a test online and filling out tons of paperwork. Then we had a long 18 month wait to hear either yay or nay. Are you from Frisco, San Francisco area? LA. Oh, wow. Cool. During the wait, yeah. our fears and doubts were fueled by people on both sides of the border. Why are you moving to Canada and leaving Tina? Have you ever lived in this town? 
Aside from doubts we might have had about our ability to shovel snow, there were other factors throwing doubts into our decision to immigrate to Canada. I've known my mother my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving my mom, for one. That's a toughie. And my sister and our friends. I'm gonna miss you. Friendship. Yeah. Friendship. We are just a cup of blendship. But the pull towards a new life in Nelson far outweighed any doubts, even about the weather. Have you gotten in your uh, window ceiling for cold weather yet? We have. Yep. So now Mary and I are happily becoming part of the Nelson community. Well, a friendly yeah. cashier okay. <laughs> at the Kootenai Co-op, right here. Hi. How about hi, welcome to Otter Books? No, I can't. <laughs> How long have we lived here? We've lived here 13 years. And while American blood still trickles in our veins. <laughs> we got landed yesterday. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi, girls. It's Canada that beats in our hearts. Hello, welcome, Wagon. <laughs>